Realistic lily painting tutorial with watercolors. In such a small flower many details can be noticed and it will help create a realistic flower. An outline drawing is done which is available for download with the reference. With Elastic Eraser from Faber & Castell I am removing the excess amount of graphite from the paper. This is a perfect way of removing graphite of watercolor paper without damaging it. More erasing but very careful without any pushing because those tips of those petals are very light almost white and we don't want any graphite marks to be visible. They can be really disturbing after the painting is done with watercolors. And with bigger brush removing dust from erasing. We don't rub with hands because we can make paper look dirty. Now we need to mix colors. Adding water to my color palette with round synthetic brush Starting with permanent rose, we see that this flower is more to the pink side, that's why first color I'm taking is permanent rose. Adding manganese violet to make it more violet, it is not very bright pink in the reference, but more to the violet pinkish color. For the second mix, I'm taking a little bit of previous mix and adding pearl and violet. A little bit more of permanent rose. Third mix. A little bit of sap green together with lemon yellow. Fourth mix. Sap green. A little bit more, more saturated. And lemon yellow for those lower petals which are more greenish and yellowish color. Now we can start painting. I am starting from one petal applying water just enough for watercolors to be moved. My watercolors don't flow by themselves on the paper surface. If, if that appears that the watercolor starts to go around on your paper it means that you are using too much water and you can only uh, struggle with that amount of water just enough nothing is dripping from my brush just enough water so that I can push easily my brush and move watercolors where I need them and starting with the mix of permanent rose and manganese violet I apply with a finer tip brush starting from the darker area but still my watercolor layer is very transparent, very thin. This subject is very light and that's why my first layers are also very light so I can control the intensity, the saturation and so that I have space to apply more and more layers to make it more realistic and give more volume. With the round synthetic brush I smooth the applied layer carefully not to go over the edges washing my brush, cleaning in paper towel and lightly smoothing watercolors. While the surface is still a little bit moist, I'm taking very small amount of Pearl and Violet with Permanent Rose mix, as you can see on the very tip of the brush and add little brush strokes to the darker areas that we see in the reference. With this painting and any realistic painting it's so important to follow what you are doing in the reference. I'm not placing reference in the tutorial video because I know that you can download my reference, open it just beside the tutorial or on the iPad or on the phone and really zoom in that area you're working on so you really see and understand what you are doing. You can pause the tutorial, take a look at your reference 
and really think what I'm doing and ask yourself, do you see what I'm doing? And do you see those tonal changes, those colors that I'm applying, those uh, how those petals are curved? Everything is, uh, is very important. It's not about some kind of magic of technique. It's all about observation, what you see, and applying to the painting the details that you see in the reference. In realistic painting it's not common to paint from imagination because our imagination can't be so rich as the reference or subject in front of us there's so many details and all these details are important in order to make it look vivid realistic uh, with the great 3d effect with volume now I applied a very thin line in the middle part and with a clean and dry brush I smoothed the applied thin line so it's more realistic more more fluffier and later we will add more crisper line now I'm speeding up the video so you can have a glimpse of the painting process of this half open lily bud full tutorial is on my patreon channel and is almost two hours long filled with lots of helpful information and the whole process of painting this lily bud from the very beginning till the finishing touches of stems and leaves
adding finishing touches to this half open lily bud. This was a really enjoyable tutorial and subject is so interesting those leaves gives richness to this composition to this painting. I learned a lot myself during this tutorial and this session. It's so amazing to see how you can create realistic subject on a flat, flat surface. Hope you learned something new. Thank you for watching and see you in my next tutorials. Bye bye!